My name is Stephen Russ. I am a preparator at the Carnegie Museum of Art. So this plant is uh, part of the Bachner measurement installation. It's a butterfly palm, which is native to Madagascar. So it does require to be indoors in northern climates in order to survive. Being a lover of plants and having some past history as a landscape designer, I took it upon myself to take care of the plant. So basically, I just water it, roughly a half gallon of water every other day, and fertilize it once a month. Despite me not actually being the original artist, or even considering myself an artist of the piece, just simply by maintaining it, um, I do have an effect on it. It's fun to see it change over time, which was part of the artist's original idea. The museum climate is a much more controlled environment than it would prefer but it does respond to being well taken care of. So as I maintain the plant, at what point does the water and the fertilizer become art? Being a tropical plant, it has a fast metabolism. So a few minutes after the water hits the soil and percolates down to the roots, you could consider the water part of the art. And I guess if you want to take it further, as the plant's root quickly takes in the water, and as the water rises up through to the stems and to the leaves, it basically intermingles with the air in the gallery. So as you stand by this installation, technically you're breathing art.